Welcome to a guide on how to get the dark ether camo or if you want to call it the dark matter zombie camo i will be trying to explain it to you as best as i can in as short as amount of time i possibly can do if you're here from my youtube channel as it is and you're wondering where the hell the grind and the camo guides are don't worry i'm currently working on the snipers thankfully tonight double weapon xp is going to go live so i'll be able to upgrade a bunch of weapons like pistols snipers so be expecting over the next few weeks i will have a bunch of guides for you and the camo grind will continue if you're new here be sure to subscribe i basically do camo grinds and i will be doing other content just currently waiting for a better setup upgrade aka ps5 is coming hopefully soon but i will be explaining to you how to level up your weapons faster obviously without like double weapon xp what kind of perks are useful for this and what kind of field upgrades now i'm only doing this because if you do not know a youtuber slash content creator called hammy i'll link his youtube channel slash youtube video down in the description plus his twitter has accidentally unlocked the dark eater camo through zombies by dying while he was exfilling with the mp5 now honestly i don't know how this glitch worked but it's clearly like one of the first in the world to even with a glitch get the camo and we finally got to see what it looks like in game since all we were working off of was the main menu and oh my god it looks amazing in my opinion the camo looks stunning and it just encourages me more to get it and i feel like maybe it would encourage some people to maybe pop on zombies now and try for it as well if you're doing that just do know that it's also very difficult mainly because of the weapon leveling up and there's specific things in zombies that uh, are not very easy to kill but without further ado i just want to point that out all of the credit goes to hammy for whatever you're seeing on screen right now or whatever you saw on screen and let's get into it so the first thing i want to go over is the perks if you do not know there perks and zombies what they do is they give you special abilities now i know i'm speaking as if you know you have never played zombies but just in case if you do not know the best perks to use in my opinion for any kind of camo grind is juggernaut obviously because it gives you extra health and also i guess could on to wear armor armor is pretty good upgrade your armor kids and deadshot now the reason you would like deadshot is because a lot and i mean a lot of the non-explosive weapon camo challenges need critical kills if you don't know what a critical kill is in zombies it's essentially a part of the body that is weaker part and if you kill them so a head obviously but sometimes it could be a chest piece it could be a leg or something so that's what deadshot does is when you aim in with any gun currently i'm working on the sniper so you're most likely seeing sniper gameplay if you aim in deadshot aim in on their weaker spot and if you shoot obviously if you one shot them most likely you're going to get the weaker spot now this works for every gun sniper pistol shotgun ar smg obviously you don't need to get critical because with the rocket launchers there's a much more <laughs> much more difficult challenge with the thumper and the rocket launchers if you're wondering how to do that i actually have a guide on how to get the thumper gold slash diamond i will also link that in the description it is absolute pain but yeah deadshot daiquiri is a really 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 good perk to have it aims at the weak spots it if you upgrade it further it deals more damage on armored zombies and it reduces your hip fire shooting thing it's pretty good I recommend upgrading Deadshot, even though it's like the last perk. Also, another perk that is pretty good is Stamina Up, especially for the rocket launchers and explosives, as there is a challenge where you can't take any damage. So if you have Stamina Up, you'll be able to run further away from the zombies and then, you know, turn around and shoot them. It's really good, you know, because you're fast, you don't take fall damage if you upgrade it. And it's just a really good perk. Obviously, another two other great perks to have for camo grinds is Quick Revive. Now, Quick Revive doesn't work the way it used to in Zombies, so I recommend just upgrading it as it regenerates your health faster, which is really good if you're, you know, in a sticky situation. Not only if you wear stim shots or use stim shots, but also have Quick Revive, everything will go, you know, smoother and you'll regen faster. And Speed Cola, because that will bring your field upgrades back which some are really good and i'll go over them in a while but that's basically the perks you the perk you do not want to have is elemental pop because i don't know if ammo mods or any kind of stuff like that will take away from your camo grind you could get turned which is a zombie essentially that runs around and kills every single other zombie that it can see so i don't recommend using elemental pop i know i said i'll recommend the perks but basically the first two jug and deadshot are the essential ones but the other ones are really good to have as well but that's kind of it for the perks i want to talk about field upgrades now if you're not going for the knife use ring of fire ring of fire is probably one of the most overpowered things to have for camo grind if you're wondering why it's because if an elite spawns in the machina we have this big dude called the megaton and he can split into two different things they usually try to punch you if you're close up to them but if you're far away they will start shooting stuff at you which could damage you progressively over time as it kind of sticks to the ground and emits this radioactive damage but if you have ring of fire upgraded not only will it take away ammo from your stockpile which essentially means not 
from your magazine, so you basically have kind of like a ridiculous amount of ammo continuously shooting without reloading, but it will also block projectiles, and the Ring of Fire will have a larger spread, so if you're concentrating on those elites to get those elite kills with any kind of weapon, zombies around you will start, you know, taking more damage, which will have an insane range. Unfortunately, I don't think that counts for your weapons, but it will affect the zombies around you, which will protect you while you concentrate on those elites. So Ring of Fire is amazing. But if you're going for a camo grind like the knife, Ether Shroud is amazing. I don't recommend upgrading to level 3, not only because there's glitches, but also it will teleport you. Now there is a specific camo challenge for the knife where you will have to use the Ether Shroud or any other kind of things like that other field upgrade, the ice one. I will also link my video down below if you want a camo guide on that, but that's essentially for the field upgrades. Those are the two best, but Ring of Fire is just amazing for any other gun that is not a knife, uh, for the explosives, for everything. It just makes your life so much more easier. And the last thing I want to talk about is leveling up your weapons. Now, I see a lot of people commenting on my other videos asking me, how did I level up my weapons fast? Well, I always was like, oh, I don't have any issues with the leveling up of my weapons, blah, 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 blah. Well, <laughs> Trying to level up the snipers is an absolute pain. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there will be double weapon XP coming soon to zombies and multiplayer, I hope, and Nuketown on top of that, so you know, a fun map. But basically, I will give you a slight guide, which I was kind of working off of without this double XP, which is pretty effective. Now, if you're not a multiplayer player, multiplayer player, this will be kind of bad, but what I recommend doing, if you're going for zombies camo grinds, first level up your gun until like level 25 to 30 in multiplayer, because this will unlock your camos for zombies and also multiplayer so you probably you know be making your way to getting like diamond or dm ultra but if you go into multiplayer level up your weapon to like level 30 level 25 even level 35 even though it does take ages I've, oh god working for this freaking camo grand even I, I get good kills in multiplayer okay anyway what you have to do is level up the weapon in multiplayer which i've already said a billion times and then when you have it around 30 to 40, even though I doubt you will have it, go into zombies. As in zombies, you will be able to obviously progress with the camos that you already have unlocked. And as you're concentrating on these camos, you will be leveling up your weapon. Because in my opinion, it's way easier to level up in zombies with the weapons. But obviously, if you unlock the first camos already in zombies and you get those camos, in my opinion, then I'm kind of unencouraged to use the weapon. I would prefer to go into multiplayer and just waste a bunch of time in there. If you do that, I think that's a really good effective way you could use Warzone, but let's be honest, in Warzone you can barely get any kills whenever Warzone weapons combine with Cold War. But that's kind of it for the video. I hope the last bit was understandable. Essentially, level up your weapon in multiplayer. Not fully, because it will be impossible nearly, but then go to zombies and start working on the camos that you already have unlocked, which will progressively unlock more levels for your gun, and hopefully you will get that level 50. Now, for the level 30s, you don't really have to do this. But that's it for the video. Yeah. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I did speak a lot. I did speak fast and I didn't mention a lot of things, but basically all you need to worry about is Ring of Fire perks and I guess also attachments, but that's your own preference. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.